All right. I want to show the difference between in photo stitch, how different digitizing programs work with what's called photo stitch. And I've showed you um, digitizer hatches version of photo stitch. So now I want to show you uh, PE designs and Floriani's. Floriani used to have only a, like their photo stitch, stitch color photo stitch was four color, um, but they've gone to a uh, they've they've gone to a different version now and the update, and they they have a, a version that's closer to PE Designs. Uh, PE Designs has been pretty much the photo stitch to go to in. Uh, for the last 10 years or so. And I'll show you what theirs is like. Uh, no, I don't want to check for updates yet. I'll do that later. Uh, so this is version 11. They have, I think there are other versions past this one. Uh, I only use PE Designs for Photo Stitch. So, um, I'm going to, when it opens up, it gives me that and it wants to know if I want to use photo stitch and that I do. So I'll, I'll go ahead with that. Uh, libraries, I'll do embroidery. All right. Uh, how about St. Joseph here? Let's try this one. Open. Now with any photo stitch, and this is why a lot of, all right, it gives you your four possibilities here. They've always given you four possibilities. Auto punch, cross stitch, photo stitch, which is this, and this is what you would get from it. And that's the one that I like. There's another photo stitch that gives you this, which is not what I like. So let's, we'll do photo stitch one and I want color and so say next. All right. And so this is what comes up. This is the wizard. And you could do pretty much, the wizard works fine. And this is your possible outlines for this picture. You can do it the whole thing, or you can do an oval, which is what I like to do. They used to have one in version seven where that where you could generate the stitches, you you could actually get it to go all the way around the outside, and I really liked that one. I think you can still do this that with this in this version with this clipping mask, but I'm not going to do it right now because it takes a while to to make all those to change all those nodes and go around the outside. And right now, all I really want to show you is the difference in the different versions. So. We'll click next. And this is what I'm going to get this, this oval, and it will do this white background here because I haven't told it not to. And now it's working on that. I mean, I want to push this. Let me do full screen here. If it will let me. I'll uh, probably have to wait till it finishes working. This, the the outline here, notice this goes beyond. This is what my hoop is, 200 by 280. And it's not a brother uh, hoop. And so this is a brother program. And that's why it has those extra lines. So it's giving me, it's pulled, I, I have the default. I like Isacord polyester, which is the same as Mettler. So it's giving me the 10 colors that this, this is, it says this is made up of 10 colors and because it's limited here to 10 colors. Now, if I wanted more detail, I could up this number to say 20 colors. And I sometimes do that and then reduce the colors over when I begin to edit the design. So if I wanted 20 colors, um, I could say update preview and it would now give me 20 colors. 
And notice it's much more defined than the 10 colors was. Uh, some of these colors are going to be very small and many of them are very close. And what I would do, if I do something like this, and I go in and edit it, I will go through with the design and say, okay, this color and this color are the very much the same. What can I combine them? Can I combine these two dark ones, these two greens? And I probably would do that. Uh, but right now, let's go, just go back to 10 colors. And because 10 colors was a decent, um, It was it gave a de pretty decent picture, not as defined as I would like. So if I was actually doing this for one to keep, I would probably go to maybe 15 colors. Let's see what 15 colors looks like. And whenever you change something, you update the preview. And that looks a little bit better. Looking at some of these colors, they're not as close. I still could probably delete this one in here or combine these two. So let's go with 15. I, I like fine detail and not just coarse. And now the brightness and contrast, I'm going to let it show me. Um, rather than play around with these for a long time, I'm just going to select from candidates and that will give me nine different versions of this picture with varying changes of contrast and brightness. And you can pick the one closest to what you want. And of course, then you can fine tune it from that point or just go with it. Notice how dark this one is. This is medium and this is brighter. And it will do that um changing the contrast and the brightness uh on giving you nine different variations this is the one that is we have right now so changing contrast or changing brightness so more contrast less contrast more brightness less brightness All right, so this one has much, it's a little bit darker than this one. And these are, this is brighter than this one, both of these. I rather, I'd like this one. I think I'm going to try this one though. You can always go back. And it'll show you how much it's changed the brightness or in the contrast with this picture. So here it was in the middle before. Now it's it's reduced the brightness slightly and it's up the contrast. And I actually like that. So let's finish this. I was generating all the stitches. Let me pull this up. All right, so these are all the colors, and this is how much of each color that it it sews. Uh, notice there's a lot of dark browns. There's a lot of white, which is mostly the background. When you look at it now, it's probably too dark in the eyes. Let's come up a little closer. And yes, it's too dark in the eyes. Um, so I would probably go back and maybe go to the, on the one of the other options. But for now, this is fine. You can, here's, here's a breakdown of each of the colors and what the sewing looks like. 
the white is the background, most of it. And if I didn't want the white, I could delete that. But I will probably wait to do it um, in Digitizer because I would take this picture and bring it into Digitizer and edit it there. Be again, because I'm not that familiar with uh, photo. Photo Stitch is the only thing I use in PE designs. So, but the problem with deleting a whole color is that lots of times there is some of that color in other parts of the design. And if you delete the whole color, let me get, let me reduce this. I'm zoomed in too close. Okay, come on. You're, you're going in. I want to go out. Come on. Yeah, I can get closer than that. All right. A lot, there might be white in this area in here and then sometimes in in the cloth down here. And so if you delete all of the white here, you just delete the whole color white, you will also be deleting those. So I would wait till I go into to uh, digitizer and make sure that I only delete uh, pull up the objects and delete objects and sometimes make other changes. I've shown you this in other digitizing. When I did some of the angels, I showed you how I did that. Uh, right now, the whole purpose of this is to show you the difference in the different uh, programs. So this is PE Designs, and this is why I like it. It really does a nice, very quick uh, picture. However, I need to point out to you that the picture that I brought in here I had already photoshopped it. Uh, you you have to sometimes spend a lot of time in uh, some a photo editing program to get the picture in a way that when you bring it into an embroidery program, you get a decent output from it. That means sometimes going in and editing stuff in the background or stuff on the the picture itself, making it brighter, making it darker, making it larger, removing things that you don't want. Um, there's usually a lot of editing that goes on in the photos in in the photo before you bring it that photo into the program. But uh, sometimes you can get away with doing nothing at all. I always try it, and then if it doesn't turn out the way I want, then I go in and Photoshop what I what I don't want. So this is PE design. So let's let's close this out. No, I don't want to save it. And let's bring up Floriani. All right. Floriani used to had one. Their original one was this. This was the wizard up here where you clicked it. And um, I think I have to bring in artwork first. So uh, at least start something. So, he, all right. So now I have a, a hoop here. And let me pull out of the hoop a little bit. Uh, all right. Now you can click this. And there is a photo stitch wizard up here. I want to show you the difference. So if you select an image, and let's select an image uh we'll do the same image and click next and click next this is gives you the size and if you want to make any changes to this we're going to click next here now this is what you used to get with floriani black and white which is the same as the digitizer one where you uh, where all you got were black and white lines. And they have another version, which is four color, CMYG. 
you got this one, click this one, and you thought you were getting color, you really weren't. So generate the stitches, you would get this. Oops, let's go back. This is the long the lines of, you know, if, if you look over here, you'll notice you're only getting four colors. See, four colors, one, two, three, four. Not even nice colors. Um, so let's select this. You get this. Uh, ugly, right? So, but that's no longer, they, they've, they've changed their, you can still get this by using this wizard, but there's another version now. So let's undo this. Actually, let's just start a new one. And I want to come out a little bit. Come on. I don't like getting this close. I want to see what I'm doing. All right. They have this version, photo to stitches. So let's click that one. And we'll do this, the same picture. And by the way, why do I have different versions of St. Joe's? Again, because I photo stitch, I photoshopped this. And each, it made different changes to each picture. And I, every time I made changes, I saved it so that I could test those in the embroidery program and see which one I liked. But we'll go with this one. Since we, that's the same one we used in PE Design. So you have this. Now you have an option here of putting a different border. So let's do with the oval. And it's the size I want. It's my hoop. Click Next. Come on, click next. All right. All right. And this is what I get very quickly along the same lines as, as what you get in Digitizer. I mean, what you get in um, PE Designs. So um, it's got 32 colors. That's a little much. But again, I'd probably take this into a Digitizer and reduce the colors. And it's giving me Floriani Poly, which I'm going to switch to Isacord and apply that. So this is with Isacord colors. Now we can reduce this from 32 to let's say 15, the same as what we had on the other one and see how that changes things. 32 is a lot of color changes. I never like to go over 20. Sometimes I generally do designs with 20 just so I can reduce it to maybe 10 or 15. 15 is really the, the most that I want to ever use. So that still looks pretty good. So let's finish that. Now it'll bring it in. And it doesn't look like much here because we're pretty far away from it. <coughs> so let's get closer and see what it really looks like. See, it's much better. But is it still, is it great? Let's do, uh, again, this is in stitches. So let's take what, see what it looks like uh, in 3D. Now that's better. Let's come out a little bit. Uh, can let's try fifty percent. Uh, still want closer than that. All right, so this is what it looks like. And again, here we can we can select that. Now you see there are whites in this these areas in here. Those are all the different whites. So 
I wouldn't want to just delete white. I would want to just, I would want to delete, open this up and see some of these stitches and break them down and delete some of those. And I probably want to combine some of these colors and maybe change some of these colors. And again, those are the kind of things. It's showing me 11 colors here, and I, I told it 15. But sometimes it does less than what you want because some of these, it combines. It com two colors are so close together, especially when you switch from one color. I switch from Floriani to Isacord. And if it doesn't find a great change in those two colors, in Floriani it was probably 15 colors. In Isacord, it's only 11. Because if I, it probably looked at two of these and said, oh, they're exactly the same color and, and combined them. Some of these are very close to the same in shades. So, but it's still, it's still good. It's, and again, and this is the way photo stitch is. It's all these little irregular threads that go every which direction and they blend together. You have one color on top of another and that gives you a different color. So even though you all, you have maybe 11 colors, you're actually getting maybe 20 or 30 colors out of it because of all those different blendings. Come on, let's back out again. So Floriani now does do a, a decent photo stitch. Um, both of both Floriani and PE Designs do better photo stitch than Hatch dis, Digitizer, and you can work with with this one. Um, Floriani also has other things that I like. Um, but as I say, I'm, and I'm trying to learn more of the Floriani uh, program, and I'd like to learn more of the PE design program, but I'm comfortable with the Hatch digitizing program. So again, I would probably save this and bring it into digitizer and edit it until I become more comfortable with these programs. But as you can see, um, even though if this is what you want, if you want a, 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 a picture to photo um, program, you don't want Hatch. But you can, you, um, you get a, a decent, you get a really nice one with PE Designs and you get a really decent one with, with Floriani. And they'll probably continue to work on this till they, they get it better because, again, a lot of people like the photo stitch. Hatch does not realize that. Wilcom does not realize that. They still think they think it's a gimmick, and that's all that the, they don't really look at it as something people really want. Floriani has looked at it and has worked at on it. They used to advise you, if you know, if you want photo stitch. Uh, by by the PE design program, um, but but all these programs cost a lot of money, and if you're going to put your money into that, uh, then you need to stick with that program. So if you want photo stitch, yes, buy the Floriani or the PE designs. Now Floriani, we're, we're, you're talking four thousand dollars here, um, so. Where PE designs, you're talking several, several hundred. Uh, same with Hatch. Uh, I don't, I, I don't know what their, I don't know what the prices are on any of these right now. Uh, when I bought them, they were not that expensive. And Flo the nice thing about Floriani is you get constant updates. Whenever they come out with a new one, you can update free. That's not the case with PE Designs or Wilcom Hatch. You have to, you you have to pay for your updates, or or you buy a whole new program, and that can be 
that can be expensive over time. So even though Floriani is asking a lot of money for their program, every time they come out with something new, would like this uh, photo to stitches, which is better than the original photo stitch one. When they come out with something new, you get a free update. You don't have to buy a whole new program to get this. Uh, same with they update their lace making or their red work or whatever. You're always going to have, or cross stitch, you always have free updates. So that's the difference in these programs. And if you're interested in photo stitch, I suggest you go with PE Designs or Floriani. The only two that I know of that do really good photo stitch. Uh, if you're not interested in photo stitch, then pretty much any of the other programs will work. Again, Embert also has a, a type, and I do mean a type, of photo stitch. It's not the instant kind of thing that you're seeing here with Floriani or PE Designs. It's a little bit more work, but you're paying a whole lot less money. So with that in mind, we will look, uh, I will look at Ember. It, you know, um, I have used Ember's programs. What was probably the second um, photo stitch that I came out with, uh, that I bought. Uh, um, I already had digitizer because again, I was teaching digitizing digitizer. At that time it was called Digitizer Pro. And I bought, but I liked the photo stitch. And I had, tr tr and I tried all different programs to find a good photo stitch. I originally began with Origins, which was very good, but no longer made, it's no longer made. Um, the closest one to Origins was then the Embered. Sumato, and I did do that one. And then um, I found PE Designs, and PE Designs was so easy as opposed to what I had to do with, in Ember that, yeah, I just stuck with PE Designs. So that at that time, it was PE Designs was version 5. Uh, and then later, I, I did update to 7. And I recently updated to 11 to see if anything changed. It hasn't really changed that much. So um, if you can get one of the older versions, like 5 or 7, those work just as well. But again, the problem with, with older versions is they also worked on older Windows. Ver Windows. Um, I had Windows 7 and... PE Designs 5 and 7 still worked on Windows 7. Now I have Windows 11, and PE Designs does not, even the version 11 did not work on Windows 11. It works on Windows 10 fine. It worked on Windows 7 fine. But it doesn't want, they, they're going to have to do an update to cut, if they haven't already, to get it to work on Windows 11. Just so you know that. Okay.